So this new Yu-Gi-Oh game is absolutely insane. This is a Pokemon Fire Red ROM hack that replaces every single Pokemon in this game with Yu-Gi-Oh monsters instead. So all of your classic nostalgic monsters from Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Monsters all the way up to Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds are in this game. We have insane stuff like Blue Eyes White Dragon. We got all the God cards in this game. We got Stardust Dragon and so much more to take a look at in this game. I actually did cover this game a year ago, but it finally got updated to fix a lot of the critiques that I did have with this game because it also updates some of the trainer sprites. So we'll be going against some iconic characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh shows as gym leaders and trainers and whatnot in this game too. And they updated a lot of those in this new version 3.0. So I wanted to make this video just going through this game once again, because this is just one of those underrated gems that if you like both Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, you definitely need to check out. And without further ado, let's go hop into it, into the updated version of PokéDuel here. I am beyond excited. And if you guys are too, make sure to leave a like on today's video, because if you guys really enjoy this series, I'd love to make more episodes of this but let's play content that doesn't do that well on my channel so if you genuinely want to see more make sure to leave a like on today's video and subscribe also throughout today's video let me know what your guys's favorite new pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh monster that got updated into the gba sprite form just let me know what your favorite one is but without further ado let's go hop into today's video okay so i decided to skip most of the just the you know shenanigans that you would normally expect at the beginning of pokemon fire red so we're gonna skip right away to the starters right here and i'm beyond excited to take a look at all these starters here so first things first we actually have illusion magician so what's really cool about this updated version of the game is that before you're able to get blue eyes dark magician and red eyes from the get-go but now it's treated more as a pokemon game where this time around you have to start off in baby forms and then level them up so we have illusion magician here i don't want that guy we have the paladin white of Roy dragon here a paladin of white right here so this makes a lot of sense because this card ritual summons into blue eyes white dragon which is absolutely insane so we have him right here and then last but not least we have red eyes black chick right here to go into red eyes black dragon so this is really hype right here and i think i'm gonna go for blue eyes because again i love all three of these i think red eyes is awesome oh, dude actually i don't know i i kind of i could have want one of mine running like red eyes but i don't know if we can get blue eyes white dragon later on in the series it's actually tough this is actually tough because I'm, I'm debating between paladin or red eyes i actually like these ones the most so i'm not too sure i'm not too sure but i think i think we're gonna go for blue eyes here and you'll know why because we're gonna be going against one of our rivals here which is pretty intense so we're gonna go with that we're gonna go for paladin of white right here i know it's too generic i know but still we're gonna go for it and we're not gonna nickname it just because i don't know i just don't feel like nicknaming it actually wait never mind galaxy doesn't play oh no galaxy doesn't play doesn't play this oh he doesn't wait he doesn't play dark magician oh i should have named the rival brad there we go. We're all fixed here. So Brad is going to be taking the Dark Magician. But hey, at least I get the shout out to my homies on YouTube here, both Galaxy and Brad here. But yeah, Brad makes more sense for picking Dark Magician because that's one of his favorite monsters of all time. So we're going to go with that right here. So hopefully later on, we can name it a different character Galaxy out this Let's Play here. But let's go down here and let's do our first Poke Duel. Oh, dude, let's go. So first things first, it's really cool right here. So as you can see, the Pokeballs are replaced with Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which is just awesome. So as you can see, Brad's going to send out Illusion Magician right here. And we have our paladin of white let's go one thing that i wish that this game did was have custom back sprites for everybody a lot of the sprites are kind of like flipped around but at the same time making some of these custom back sprites for Yu-Gi-Oh monsters that don't typically have back sprites is really difficult so i don't blame them on doing it like this but still there's still a few of them in the game that actually have back sprites so i was able to take a look at a lot of the sprites thanks to the creator shout out to matteo for sending me all of the sprites for this game so i can make you guys some spicy thumbnails so let's get it dude but yeah no back sprites i i'm kind of disappointed that we don't have custom back sprites for everybody because the ones that they did make were really good in the previous version of pokey duel when i played 1.0 but at the same time i understand it's really difficult to do because again a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards never really had back sprites before also if we take a look at the bag right here i uh, not bag pokemon i mean as you can see right here we actually have custom sprites for these uh for the pokemon in the menus here too which is a big upgrade from the first uh the 1.0 version because before they were just generic cards so big ups to those guys for making custom sprites for the pokemon in the menu and for on the overworld it's just really cool uh anyways though we're we're just gonna go for a typical scratch and just mop the floor with brad picking the worst starter ever like illusion magician hello like only doing three damage hello i'm probably only doing three damage myself leer is a problem leer is a problem i might have to counteract with growl here Oh, snap. I got an Orin Berry. I'm kind of speeding up here because the starter battle doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, shout out to the Orin Berry clutch. Hello. I don't even need to use my potion I snacked from the PC. Get out of here, Brad. Put an uh, Orin Berry on your Pokemon, bro. Pick a better starter. Let's get it, baby. And level six. Let's see if we learn a new move. We do not learn a new move. Bummer. Okay, but get out of here, Brad. Loser. LMAO. 
Oh, wait, that's awesome. Wait, the music, though. Yeah. Oh, dude, is this GX? I think this is GX. That's hype. Anyways, though, get out of here, Brad. Later, nerd. Okay, in typical Pokemon fashion, now we gotta go and grab Oak's Parcel. So let's go grab that real quick. Hey, wait, look at this. This is a Kribo right here. Hold up. That sprite for Kribo is actually insane. I like that a lot. And after defeating that uh, Kribo, we leveled him up to level 7 and got Rage here. So that is hype right there. Also, it looks like Blue Eyes is Dragon Flying, which actually makes a lot of sense. So that's cool. We have a calm Blue Eyes, though. I wonder what level it takes to evolve into Blue Eyes, though. I'm not sure. Whoa. Wait, Beaver Warrior. Whoa, his sprite is actually clean. His old one was like, in the first version of Poke Duel, was like just very similar to the original card itself. But this one's cool. Like, Beaver Warrior is about to go rah. Uh, yeah, that's cool, dude. Dude, that's hype. I'm going to have to catch a Beaver Warrior for my boy Loom. Shout out to all the YouTuber, YouTuber gang out here. You know how it is. Dude, maybe I got to get some of these YouTubers to do like a Soul Link with me or something like that. Or like a Versus with me. That'd be cool. Okay, boys. So we're going to go to the Mart and get the parcel real quick. Typical Pokemon stuff. Don't mind me. Okay, so let's go back to Oak here and give him the parcel so we can get ourselves some Pokeballs and get ourselves a Pokedex. Yes, there he is there. There we go. Okay, so we got ourselves the Pokedex now, which is hype. Let's see what, uh, like, the little Pokedex entry is for Blue Eyes here. This dragon has much destructive potential, but requires the watchful eye of the Dragon Rider to, right to tame it. Nice. Very cool. And I think that's it right now because we don't have anything else caught. Also, hopefully you can get ourselves running shoes soon. Oh, wait, I forgot in Gen 1 or Gen 3, technically. But in Fire Red, you don't get your running shoes till way later. That's a bummer. So it looks like I'm going to be using the speed up a lot in today's episode. Also, let me go snag the town map real quick. Thank you. But yeah, don't don't blame me for putting speed up all the time. We're trying to skip past the annoyingness of Red our not Red Eyes, of Fire Red. My bad here. We're only here to take a look at the cool Yugi Mon. Speaking of which... We got ourselves the Beaver Warrior. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go catch ourselves the Beaver Warrior real quick. Okay, so we got him to yellow. This should this should stay in the ball. Let's go. We got ourselves a Beaver Warrior. Yes, sir. Let's go. What type are you, though? I don't know what type you are. Let's take a look at Beaver Warrior here. Relax nature. I got tackle and tail whip. Okay, so nothing too crazy. We're going to switch you to the front, though, so we can level you, level you up. And I forgot to read the flavor text. What is Beaver Warrior's flavor text? What this creature lacks in size makes up for defense when battling in a parry. There you go. Or in a prairie. Yeah, in a prairie. I can't read right now. Imagine Yu-Gi-Oh players can't read though, so leave me be. And what's really cool too is look at this in the top left. It shows the little uh, Pokemon or the Pokeball, the Yu-Gi card on the top left there showing that we caught it. That's so cool. Okay, next up, let's go to the Pokemon real quick and buy some more Pokeballs and some potions because we're going to need it because Viridian Voris is going to kick us in the butt. So I'm going to just get four more Pokeballs. Let's see here. What's the max amount of potions can I get? Seven. We'll do like five more and then like three antidotes and actually one more potion. Okay, so we're broke now. I don't think we really need a paralysis heal uh, right now. So I think the first gym leader is still a rock gym leader and we're going for Viridian Forest. But first, let's go over here to the left and see what other Yugi Mons we can catch. Oh, Feral Imp. That's cool. Not bad. That Sprite, dude, these new Sprites look so good, man. Like, you, Matteo, your team did a great job with these new Sprites. I'm liking them a lot more than version 1.0. That's for sure. Like, holy. So it looks like Feral Imp is just in this route. It looks like like so eh, whatever there we go celtic guardian we're gonna catch a celtic guardian real quick because if i think it's a fighting type it's either a grass type or a fighting type if i remember correctly but let's go get ourselves a celtic guardian an elf who learned the wield of sword and baffles enemies with lightning swift attacks nice and let's see what type you are normal grass we'll take the t whoa that was a weird cry but let's go take the tiny mu musher off of him whoa wait 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 baby dragon okay i was not expecting baby dragon in this route let's catch him too while we're at it okay Let's go, baby dragon. I'll take that. Dude, that sprite looks so good. What the heck? Much more than a child described, dragon is gifted with untapped power. Dude, what the heck? That's awesome. <laughs> is it is a little spray in the menu here though it's hilarious though like he looks like he's on something bro oh my goodness so while we don't need two dragon types we're gonna keep him on the team for now since we're so early on but see that's awesome hello okay so i just got our entire team to level seven except for baby dragon so before we go into viridian forest why not battle brad see what new pokemons he got yugi mons he got hey got to the pokemon league forget about it probably don't got any badges do you guards will let you through without them by the way did your pokemon get any stronger i don't know brad did yours let's go let's take a look at what brad got up his sleeve okay so he got himself a creepo level nine hello brad training in the mountains and he put my guy to sleep okay my guy you need to relax there and i think creepo's a grass type too because my bullet seed's doing nothing okay well i'll just stay in oh never mind celtic guardian's gone maybe i should stop using the speed up button you creepo putting in the work right now hello Wake up. Brad is throwing. He keeps using yawn. There we go. Shout out to Beaver Warrior clutching up. 
Oh, juicy XP and Illusion Magician. So we're going to stay in the Beaver Warrior here. We're going to try to lower him as much as possible. Because I think that's Tail Whip, actually. We're faster, too, than Illusion Magician. Who would have thought Beaver Warrior is faster? Hello? Pursuit. Okay. So we got a little dark action here. But yeah, we're going to Tail Whip like two times here. And then our Paladin Dragon and Beaver Warrior should be able to mop the floor with Brad here. Whoa. Okay. We're going to Quick Attack. Ooh, that damage, baby. You could probably tank him on with Beaver Warrior here until he dies. Then, yeah, then we can't no more. But, yeah, we should be able to mop the floor with him real quick. We're just going to scratch a couple times. And there we go. Easy peasy just like that. Good thing I'm not Nuzlocke in this because those are not Nuzlocke strats. And I'll tell you what. I don't know how I feel about Captain Guardian right now because, like, he is slacking off on my team, bro. He is slacking off. Like, he's a weak grass type. But I still want him on the team because I think, if I remember correctly, the uh, first gym leader is still a rock gym leader. Okay, so one thing I wanted to check here, too. I was about to hit the Verdant Forest, but I forgot there's a Pokeball here. Unfortunately, though, it's not updated to a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I kind of wish that the Pokeballs in the Overworld were updated to Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That would have been cool. I could have sworn in the first one they were. Also, another thing I want to check. Is there still that weird cave in this area here? It is. Okay, so this weird cave is going to be much, much, much later. But you can get some really cool stuff from there. So it's kind of cool to see that still here. Just say so you can get some secret stuff. Some secret stuff up here. Let's go into route two here. Whoa, okay. What's up, tutorial man? Oh no. This is shit lost a shadow duel, and I'm about to get sucked into the shadow realm. Quickly, before I go, give me your Pokedex so I can upgrade it. Shout out to old man about going about to go to the shadow realm to give us the national decks real quick. Now you've accessed all the monsters in this game. Please fulfill my dream and complete the Pokedex. I can't fight the shadows any longer. Bro, we just lost the old man to the Shadow Realm, bro. Oh, well, it's just a normal day, right? Let's, 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 let's just go. Let's see what else is in here, too. First gym leader is three monsters. Second is four. After that, they all have six. Oh, cool. We got Karibo in this forest or in this patch of grass here. I think it's pretty much just the same stuff, unfortunately. Hopefully, Viridian Forest, though, can have some cool stuff. I think it has Petite Moth. Uh, what was the other one? We'll see the other one later. It's like the Prey Mantis looking one. I forgot its name. Are you going through the Viridian Forest? Be careful. There's mad eating bugs there. Oh, no. Beaver Warrior may be small, but they. Whoa, okay. But they can slice you into two. Okay, I was about to say, like, there's no period at the end of that. So I was confused if, like, it was going to keep going. But yeah, before is a threat, bro. You see that sword, bro? That sword's insane, dude. Like, hello? Radiant Forest, so what's popping? I came here with some friends to catch some bug monsters. They're itching to get some duels. And we got ourselves an antidote. Let's go. Nice. And let's go take a look at the forest here and see if we can get ourselves the other Pokeballs. Oh, okay. Yeah, Petite Molly. Yeah. Oh, we'll catch it for the meme. We'll catch it for the culture. Again, we're not using Petite Moth at all, but hey, this small but deadly creature is better off avoided, dude. Shout out to Petite Moth, the meme himself. Hopefully there's a little D in this game. Whoa, that's new. Parasite C looks cool. I'm not going to catch it, though, because I don't really want a bug type on my team, but that's cool. I like that one. That's awesome. Here ourselves that Pokeball, too, while we're at it. Okay, first bug trainer we're going to go against. Let's see what you got up your sleeve, bro. Just Parasite C, it looks like. Well, Beaver Warrior is about to knock you up, bro. Get out of here, dude. I think all these guys just have Parasite Seed. It looks like the Weedle and Caterpie's Petite Moth and Parasite Seed. Okay. Very cool. I should have not bullet seeded there. Oh, well, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're going to keep you in. Okay. We, that was close. We got to heal up our team. That was really close. Whoa. What's that? That's new, too. How do you even get in there? Okay. There's a lot of weird stuff that's added to this version, though. Like, the old man was new to me. This area is new to me. How do you... Where does that, where does that area even go? Whatever. Got some tricky stuff here for the future. Hopefully, there's enough new content in here that blows my mind playing through this. I mean, so far, I'm loving the new sprites, bro. Like, this is just insane, dude. Oh, we learned Gus. Nice. Paladin just learned Gus. That's actually going to be really huge, especially going through the rest of these uh, bug type trainers. We'll switch Paladin to the front because honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to level up my Celtic Guardian against all these bugs here when we low key need it for the next set gym, but whatever. Hey, look at that Gus doing that super effective damage, baby. Yeah. Oh, Maneater Bug. Okay. Well, have a taste of my new move out here. Gust. Oh, that one shot was juicy. That one shot was juicy right there. That Maneater Sprite, though, is clean, dude. Like, these sprites are way better than the original, bro. Like, they... Again, the team did a really good job updating the sprites. No cap. Like, they look so much better. It's, it's like, not even funny. It just looks so good. Whoa, Cocoon of Evolution out here, too. That is scary looking, bro. But again, it looks really good. Okay, hopefully we can get the Pikachu in this route here. Let me see if I can try. Oh, Jerry Beans, man. Hello. Whoa, hold up. Let's go to Baby Dragon out here. Baby, Barry, G Barry Jean. Bleh, I can't even talk right now how excited I am. Jerry Beans, man, is here. Okay, let's see if we can catch him real quick. This is probably the Pikachu of the route. Let's go. Barry. 
I'm at this rate, I'm just gonna nickname it Barry. We're, we're nicknaming it Barry Beans, man, because I keep saying Barry right now. Jerry, the bean soldier, believes he's the strongest warrior in the world, but his true abilities are still untested. We're gonna call it freaking Barry Bean, bro, because I keep calling it that. Barry Bean is here, baby. There we go. Barry Beans, man, out here, baby. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna rid of Celtic, bro. We are gonna use Barry Beans, man, to the end of this Let's Play. That's probably gonna be live. We're gonna definitely use him in the first gym. Oh, speaking of Jerry Beans, man, what's up, my guy? hello that is insane dude leaving viridian forest pewter city ahead yes sir there we go so let's go take a look at all these guys here so listen that old man is just upset you wiped it out against a larvae moth what you expect some sort of reward just gonna be made it through viridian forest pathetic why are your boys so obsessed with their deck size my bad but you have to say the gym leader in pewter city is an expert at the ground type okay so it's not rock types but it's gonna be ground types here well i guess geodude and onyx are ground types so i guess that's still stand in the uh original games let's go heal up our team real quick and get my boy jerry beans man berry beans man leveled up so i was trying to get back to route one because pokemon nearby pewter city are all grass types and bug types so i cannot level up jerry beans man to save my life but i was able to catch a man eater bug trying to get back from viridian forest here so that's hype okay so i'm done grinding my pokemon right now i I am tired of battling all these grass type Pokemon because they cannot level up Barry Beans Menace in my life. So we're gonna have them at level 10. I think these levels should be good enough for me to be able to defeat the gym leader. And on top of that, too, uh shout out to Beaver Warrior for having the pickup ability. I was actually able to get a PP up that we're gonna sell. And I'm gonna be able to uh I now have an orange berry and a chest of berry and backup here. So let me first sell the PP up and get some potions, and then we're gonna be able to just smack up this gym leader. If we got a potion style, we got a potion style. I do not care. Okay, so we got that money. Go buy just like yeah, we'll buy we'll buy 12 more. Why not? Right? And then I think everything else is looking good. We'll buy Pokeballs after the gym leader here. So yeah, let's just go battle the gym leader. Hopefully, we can get another level on our berry beans man against the first gym trainer here. And then afterwards, we're gonna be able to just pop off and win here so let's go do it real quick do you like to know the level of every gym leader's ace monster sure why not version 3 14 22 24 33 43 okay Ooh, 51 okay yeah a lot a long way to go a long way to go yeah 14 is like a problem but i think we got this i think we got this let's enter the gym leader here and see who the gym leader is yo hey it's him oh wait <laughs> stop right there kid you're 10,000 light years away from facing Rex. oh my goodness obviously i am bro hopefully i can get a level out of this real quick wait little d no way wait oh my god wait we need him on our team how do you get it how do you get it how do you get it okay we're gonna stun for little d here i am genuinely surprised it's this early in the game where we're seeing little d i don't even remember if i mentioned it earlier in today's video but i swore i did bro i swear i did bro no way dude i can't believe he's here what okay we're gonna do a double switch up here just because he uh accidentally sand attacked me unfortunately I went for hal twice so it's a little scary so we'll see how much absorb does here Oh, dude, that damage, though. Okay. And he had his energy drained. Okay. And he got paralyzed, so, or paralysis, so that means Hal's not going to do nothing to me. Okay, I'm surprised Little D's already here in the game, but please let me catch him at Mountain Moon, bro. Please. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, that is amazing right here. We have to have him on my team. We have to have him on my team. And Baby D? Okay, wait, Baby Dragon? Okay, hello? Let's go switch out, I guess, and go to Paladin here. I don't think he's going to... Oh, he has Twister? What? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. We're gonna speed. We're gonna speed through this though, real quick, cause Paladin still is bulky. Even though he has a stab move, it's still bulky out here, bro. Let's go. Okay, so looks like they're also rocking Baby Dragon out here. Little D and Baby Dragon, the Dream Team combo. Hello. Oh, that's insane. And it looks like the sprite they used for Little D is actually from the Rush Duel card, which is really cool. I'm glad they based it off of that one. That's awesome. Darn. Light years isn't time. It measures distance. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, boys, we're going to face Brock, not Brock. <laughs> I cannot think tonight, dude. I, my brain is not here, but I still hope you guys have been enjoying this video so far. Do you dare to become a Pokemon champ? Nah, dude, I dare to become the king of games, but yeah, we can, we can go to the top, bro. We can go to the top, dude. You don't give me, uh, you don't give me fresh waters in this still. Bummer. Some ROM hacks still, I incorporate fresh waters. Nice little feature in the later Pokemon games, but not this one. This one's hard or baby OG out here. You know how it is. Okay, boys, let's go fight Rex himself, dude. Hopefully. Hopefully, Barry Beans, man, it can carry us to victory here. I'd be the eighth gym leader if I didn't lose my red eyes to Joey. <sighs> but no worries, because my dinos are all rock hard and ready to pound you to the ground. That's right, all my dinos are the ground type. So prepare to be sent back to the Stone Age. Okay, please have the updated sprite. Please have the updated sprite. 
Yeah, I think this one was in the first Poke Duel, but yeah, so in this game, the creator like made a really good job with some of the sprites and half-assed a lot of the other sprites. But as far as I know, he updated all the half-assed sprites into sprites that look like this, and they look so good, bro. Like, I don't know if it really fixed Rex that much or like fits Rex for this pose, but I still like it. I still think it's awesome. That's awesome here. Oh, wait, Swamp Beetle? Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Not Swamp Beetle, bro. I forgot. I can't think of his name right now because I'm dead asleep. But I'll edit the card in on screen here. Uh, Battle Ox? Not Battle Ox. I can't think right now. I'm so sleep deprived from work, bro. It's not even funny. Well, we're still going to take this guy on. We're going to Sun Spore him real quick. Berry Beans Man with the Sun Spore out here, bro. Water Gun? Okay. We take those. We take those. Let me get my health back real quick, champ. And easy, easy peasy like that. Give me that level two. 200 XP. Yes, sir. Give me to level 11. Yeah, because unfortunately, Little D did not come through with the XP. Speaking of Little D, though, we got my boy Little D out here in the flesh. 13 Little Ds. Hello, level 13 Little D. Sun Spore missed. Hello? Oh, Rock Tomb out here doing damage, bro. Okay, so let's get that Zorb in so we get max health. And then Rock Tomb. Whoa, 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 whoa. We, we outspeed. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I need to stop speeding up because we somehow missed. Okay, we didn't miss that time, though. We're going to have to swap into Paladin, though, because we don't have enough health in. Berry Beans, man. And on top of that, too, we got sand attacked. But yeah, I don't know what happened on the speed up there. I think I missed, and then paralysis happened. So I need to I need to relax on the speed up. But it's, it's an addiction, bro. It, it really is. So we're going to send out Baby D, unfortunately, for fodder here, so we can get a safe switch into our Berry Beans man out here. Get him leveled up or get him healed up here. Oh, dude, that Rabbi doesn't look bad either, bro. Dude, they did such a good job, dude. Like, hello. Okay. Oh, and the Howl came through. Oh, whoa. Okay. Howl came through, so we actually can get him to max. Baby D is going to go down. That means we can go to Berry Beans man. And then next up, we're going to Stun Spore. Okay, that Howl needs to stop. Land the Stun Spore. Thank you. Yeah, we got to absorb here. We just got to spam absorb and hope he keeps missing. Which? Okay, this is going to hurt. I think this might one shot. Oh, okay. But our speed did fall. So we're going to do this. We're going to go into Celtic here. Mary Beans Man is not dying on my watch. We're going to sack off Celtic here. That's why we caught him. So this is definitely going to one shot hit it, even though it's not super effective. Yerp. But what we're going to do here, since Rex isn't deciding to heal for whatever reason, we're going to go to Beaver Warrior and just quick attack and win. Because if it, he, he's, at, he's at one HP, bro. He's at one HP, bro. Quick attack. That's game, baby. Beaver Warrior with the clutch up. Who even needs Blue Eyes or Dragon? We got Beaver Warrior and Berry Beans Man, bro. Like, hello. Just It's just the dream team combo. Like, what more can I say? I took you for granted, so I lost. To prove your victory, I confer you on this. The official League of Boulder Badge. The Boulder Badge. Let's go. It's having a Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful and also able to use, move Flash aside of battle. Of course, Pokemon must know Flash to use it. Now we got ourselves some cash. So we can buy some more Pokeballs. Wait, take this with you. Yes, sir. I think it's Rock Tomb. Yes, sir. Rock Tomb it is. Easy dub right there, bro. We got ourselves our first gym badge. And that's going to wrap it up for the first episode of Poke Duel V3. If you guys want to see more episodes of this, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys are excited for the next episode, if I do make it, be sure to leave a like in today's video. And if you have not already, subscribe to this YouTube channel so you guys do not miss out on the banger you get content that we're releasing today. I've been having a lot of fun with some experimental content. So if you guys want to see more like that, hit the like button and the sub button. Other than that, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next PokeDuel video. Adios, everybody. Have a good one.